The Center for Women's Health and Information, in collaboration with the Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Response Team, has organized a capacity building workshop for senior level officers in law enforcement agencies. The one day training on gender based violence held in Lagos on Wednesday. Our correspondent, Anita Felix, has more. Seated here are heads of law enforcement agencies in Nigeria. They're learning how to tackle the rising incidence of gender-based violence. A lecturer of the Faculty of Law, Iyabo Oguniro, lists legal provisions against human rights abuses, noting that the challenge is not the laws, but their implementation. If we have the domestic violence law of 2007 in Lagos State, and the police is saying that they have, uh, there is order from above, directly from above, that when it is domestic violence, they should not do anything. We have the child rights law of Lagos State. All these laws, they are there for the officers to rely on it and use it to prosecute cases, but they don't do it. CSP Margaret Igodalo admits the challenges and announced that there's a new police publication in the works to tackle the menace of domestic violence cases. We are formulating a training manual now a training manual based on gender-based uh, uh, violent cases. That training manual is going to be used from our basic training, what we call our basic training, our recruit training, to the highest training institution. Coordinator of the Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Response Team stated that the First Lady of Lagos State has championed a sexual intervention fund seeded with 50 million naira for survivors of sexual-based violence. That fund is accessible for general hospitals and certain private hospitals that are empaneled on the Lagos State Health Services Scheme. Director of Operation Lagos State Neighborhood Safety Agency, Tony Adeniyi, proposes these solutions to achieve zero violence against women and girls. I'm suggesting that civil defense and neighborhood and the police should come up with an awareness program on GBV in Lagos State. There are alarming statistics on gender-based violence in Nigeria including a UNICEF survey that reports sexual abuse in one in four girls and one in ten boys. Analysts believe that workshops like these will go a long way in flattening the curve. Annetta, Felix, Plus TV Africa. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.